My interest began in about 25 years ago. Um, I read an article in a newspaper uh, by Irma Unger, and I found out that 10 members of my mother's family, which was the Collinsworth, uh, passed away in a smallpox epidemic in Plano in 1895. Farrick and Lucy are my great-great-grandparents. They're buried here. His brother is here. Farrick lost his wife and two sons and a number of grandchildren, all within a matter of a week. And that is how the cemetery started. I couldn't find the cemetery, and I got a, a, an email um, from a gentleman that lives in a nearby residential area. And he said it was in his alley, so I had to go down an alley and crawl over a fence, and I finally found it. And it was in a field that was owned by a farmer. Uh, I believe his name was Meyer Levi. And he actually helped protect the cemetery for about 100 years because uh, he wanted to farm his land. He kept it on his land, and he actually went to Austin and helped have it designated as a historical cemetery. Meyer died a few years later. And once he died, the development started encroaching on the cemetery. So that was when I met with the Toll Brothers and tried to get something started. As this community was built, uh, more and more of us started to look in and say, what, what's going on in here? And um, the condition we found in the cemetery is a little bit different than what we, we found today. Um, there's a lot of poison ivy, a lot of weeds, uh, a monument down, and a lot of trees down. This is a new community just built in the last five to eight years. Um, yet this cemetery has been here over 100 years. How exciting to have something historic in your own neighborhood. Um, it helps all of us feel connected to the past, uh, to those that used to own the land that we now call home. So it's really a tribute to those previous folks that lived here that we now preserve and maintain the cemetery. The Preston Lakes Homeowners Association maintains this front area in terms of the lawn and landscape. And it's really through volunteer efforts inside of the cemetery that we're able to maintain a somewhat weed-free environment and continue some um, landscape improvements. The old and the new can definitely exist side by side. We're proving it here. We really enjoy it. We have families that come, have lived in the greater surrounding area come with their children to see, what, see what's going on, see what it looks like you know, 20 or 50 years later since they last visited. It's a great gift and it's, it's very hard to thank all of those people and it's uh, it's very close to my heart because it's family. It tells us our history and where we are, uh, who we came from, and uh, what was here before because it was all farms before. It was land and these people came from the border of Virginia and Tennessee. They had rough lives. They lost a lot of children. They lost a lot of people to illness. And I think out of respect to that, we need to protect their final resting places.